I think about 90% of believers, born again believers, and perhaps most of you believe that Jesus Christ will come seven years before, as soon as the tribulation starts and secretly rapture the church. I believed it too, as a young Christian, because I was taught that. But as I studied the scriptures carefully, honestly, I discovered it's not true. I searched the scriptures, the New Testament, I could not find one verse I studied it for 50 years that taught that and I discovered it was a teaching of man that arose in England about 150 years ago nobody believes it in the persecuted countries like China or in the old communist countries nobody would believe it it arose in countries that had never experienced persecution for centuries and it's a very comfortable doctrine many of you have heard of Corrie ten Boom the Dutch lady who was imprisoned she went to China and um, she met some of the pastors after the communists had taken over and they told her the reason why many Christians lost their faith and forsook Christ was because the missionaries never told us that we would go through tribulation and persecution. They always told us Jesus will come and take you up, and take you up. We waited for Jesus came to come and instead of Jesus the communists came. And we got persecuted and it's not been seven years, it's been year after year after year after year and we lost our faith. See this doctrine has not prepared people for persecution. 30 years ago I started preaching in India. We must prepare the church in India for persecution. Most people didn't agree with me. I said 90% of believers, they thought it was a false doctrine. But it's happening in India today. In the last one year, we've seen more persecution, more Christians killed. In India, I've never seen it in all my 70 years. And I believe that one way or the other persecution is going to come to every land. And we have to be faithful to the Lord. If you're looking for a life of comfort, forget about being a Christian. If you want to follow Jesus, remember what Jesus said in John 16, 33. In the world you will have tribulation. But be of good cheer. Don't get discouraged. I have overcome the world. One last thing on that before I move on. What are the things that are going to take place when Christ comes? Let me show you 1 Thessalonians 4 Verse 16 The Lord will descend from heaven with a shout The voice of the archangel Listen to all these things The voice of the archangel, the trumpet of God And we'll be caught up together to meet the Lord in the clouds So here it is The Lord coming in the clouds Angels are being taken up from all parts of the earth Trumpets That is the coming of the Lord Which we know as the rapture when Christ is going to come to take us. Now keeping that in mind when we turn back to Matthew 24 and in 1 Thessalonians 4 it doesn't tell us when it will happen. It tells us what will happen. But when you go to Matthew 24 Jesus tells us when it will happen. Now listen to this. Matthew 24 and verse 29. He's just spoken about the great tribulation in the previous verses. Verse 21. There will be a great tribulation in those days. And then verse 29 immediately after the tribulation not before immediately after the tribulation the sun will be dark and the moon will not shine and then verse 30 the son of man will appear in the sky he'll come in the clouds of the sky verse 31 with the angels and a trumpet and the elect will be gathered together from the four winds did Jesus know what he was talking about as I read these words and I compared scripture with scripture I said how in the world did Christendom believes something else. An enemy has done this. Second Thessalonians chapter 2. I read these verses. Verse 1 to 3. Brethren, with regard to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together to him, our rapture. Second Thessalonians 2 verse 2. Don't be shaken or composed or disturbed by a message as if it were from us. Verse 3. This is the verse I want you to see. Second Thessalonians 2 verse 3. Let no one deceive you. I believe we need to hear that word. Let no one deceive you in any way. For that day will not come. Until there's this falling away. The apostasy. Great falling away from the faith. And it's happening all around us today. And the antichrist. The man of sin is revealed. The son of perdition. Destruction who opposes and exalts himself. Who sits in the temple and claims to be God. Verse 4. It's after he's revealed that the Lord will come. 
I believe we need to be prepared for the coming of Jesus Christ. But we need to be prepared for this time of persecution and tribulation the church is going to face before that. And this is the time when we need to strengthen ourselves. I remember we were taught in the military that the more you sweat in peace, the less you bleed in war. And the more we prepare ourselves in times of peace, the more we'll be ready to fight the battles when the time of tribulation comes.